and it's everything that's happening in the judiciary and they are against the move by President Uhuru Kenyatta to suspend members, the six members that is, of the Judicial Service Commission saying that this move will hinder reforms as well as interrupt the functions of the judiciary. However, a section of legal minds say that the president was well within law to suspend the six and appoint a tribunal, adding that the suspension of six members will have no effect on the judiciary's core functions. KTN's Catherine Omando has details on this looming battle between the judiciary and government. We believe in the principles of natural justice in which someone must be given a hearing before you are condemned. When the Parliamentary Select Committee on Legal Affairs summoned members of the Judicial Service Commission, JSC, being an independent constitutional body, decided to snub the summonses not once, but twice. This is a commission spitting in the face of the representatives of the people. Not willing to justify their actions before the PSC on why they felt it was best to sack the former Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, Gladys Cholet, the Parliamentary Committee recommended the suspension of six members of JSC, setting the stage for one of the biggest battles between government and the judiciary. The action taken totally paralyzes the institution of the judiciary. And it is therefore inaccurate and elusive for anyone to think that the judiciary will continue to function normally. Members of the judiciary paint a grim picture. However, Charles Kanjama of the Law Society of Kenya has a different view about the matter. The president who has exercised a constitutional mandate to have the tribunal formed also had a constitutional discretion to decide whether to suspend the JSC members or not pending the work of the tribunal. Since that is the exercise of presidential discretion, they cannot be faulted for having chosen to suspend them. Whether it was wise or not, that is a different issue. By January, as the Chief Justice had mentioned some times back, that there's going to be an appointment of 40 judges. These 40 judges were going to be able to um, uh, deal with the backlog in the judiciary in terms of hearing of cases. I don't think that come January, the Judicial Service Commission will be in a capacity to even meet. The Judicial Service is left with three commissioners. This number does not meet the threshold to make any of the JSC's decisions. However, to say that operations of the judiciary will grind to a halt could be an overstretch, given that JSC is the equivalent of a human resource department and the core functions of the judiciary will not be disrupted. President Uhuru Kenyatta was acting in accordance to Article 251 of the Constitution. Albeit JSC is an independent body, the President has the powers to suspend its members and form a tribunal to investigate their conduct. The Law Society of Kenya is also questioning the composition of the Judicial Service Commission Tribunal, saying that they may not give out an impartial outcome. The chair of that tribunal at one point applied to be uh, a, a judge of the Supreme Court and he was not shortlisted and he went out in public and said no that was unfair this should not have been up happened I should have been shortlisted having had this kind of confrontation between one of the Judicial Service Commissioners and now the appointed chair you don't expect justice from that tribunal what is also clear is that under article 165 paragraph 6 of the Constitution the High Court has power to supervise the tribunal that will be conducting uh, the job. The commissioners can challenge the decision of the president in court or decide to follow the path forced upon them. If the tribunal does indeed find them guilty of misconduct, they will have room to appeal and if that fails, the process of vetting new commissioners begin afresh and this could take months. Catherine Omwando, KTN.